Hey guys, Mad Mantis here, back with another YouTube video, and today we're going to be learning how to make fruit fly cultures. So, fruit flies are always great to have on hand because you may have an ooth hatch, and you may have a million mantis babies that may need something to eat, and this is definitely small enough for nymphs. Uh, you can also use these if you have any dart frogs or anything that eats very small prey. Um, for me, they're definitely an essential to have. I'm going to be having a new hatching soon, so I'm going to need plenty of fruit flies to keep the nymphs fed. So the first thing you're going to need to make your culture is an empty deli cup. So I've got one here. I just cleaned this one off, just rinsed it. If you need to learn how to make these, I do have a YouTube video. I'll put it in at the end. And you guys can click on that if you need help on how to cut this lid and how to make this. Um, otherwise, you can buy already made insect cups with insect lids. The next thing you're going to need is your fruit fly media. So this one here is by Rapashi Superfoods. And this has lasted me a very long time. It's great. I really like it. Um, I've tried other ways to make fruit fly media and although they are cheaper, uh, they tend to be very smelly. I've tried using mashed banana, I've tried using several different types of recipes. This is definitely the least smelly and it's lasted me forever in the fridge. So it was definitely worth however much I paid for it, I already forgot. <laughs> uh, the next thing you're going to need is already a mature culture. So this one I've had uh, for a little while. I've made it from a from one that I had bought at the store. If you don't have one on hand, you can always buy one at the pet store. They usually come in small containers like this. Once you see plenty of flies in there, you can transfer them over to a big one. This is how they reproduce. The next thing you're going to need is some Excelsior. So I actually ended up buying a huge um, pack of chicken nesting material off of Amazon and that has lasted me forever. Uh, it's very tightly packed so all I do is just unravel it and it ends up looking like this. Now, you can buy Excelsior online. If you can buy the chicken nesting one, uh, that works too. It's the exact same thing. And then you're going to need a stirring stick and some hot water. So what you're first going to do is you're going to pour some of the hot water into your cup. It can be boiling water or it can be very, very hot tap water. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a scoop of our fruit fly media. Now you might need a couple scoops. Alright, let's try mixing this up. here so this is perfect all right and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add our nesting material now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap some of our flies from our old one into the new one so what you do to get the flies down to the bottom is you just tap them start tapping them in there. So some of them did escape, but that's okay. That does happen. So uh, don't be surprised if you have some fruit flies running around, but that's no big deal. Um, there's plenty of spiders in the bug room and they will eat them and they appreciate it. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. Here is your new fruit fly culture. You will start seeing a little maggots down at the very bottom here. You start seeing them pupate and they'll show up on the sides and you will have new hatching um, fruit flies. And once that starts getting full and starts looking like this one, there's still plenty of them in there, uh, you can make a new fruit fly culture. Hopefully you can keep this going so you never have to buy any fruit flies. Um, just to let you know, the ones you buy at the store are flightless, but as they keep breeding, uh, they seem to regain their flight. They seem to escape a little bit easier. So just remember that when you're trying to tap them into a new container. So far I've had the best luck with their Apache Superfoods. 
Uh, it's specifically made for them. It's made from veggies. It doesn't smell or it doesn't smell as bad. So if you ever see your media starting to get a little bit dry, you can definitely always tap the, the, the bottle and make sure that the flies go down and then spray a little water in there and keep them hydrated. You just don't want the fruit fly media to dry out or else the fruit flies will no longer want to breed and there's nothing for the maggots to eat. Uh, once you need to feed your mantis, you open, you tap on the container, you open the lid really quickly and then you just tap them really quickly into the mantis container and then um, close the lid as fast as you can because you will have some escapees. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions regarding this particular video or if you want to see maybe another recipe done that you can do at home with stuff you may have at home. But yeah, uh, that's the end of this video. Hopefully I can give you guys a more exciting video next week. I was trying to meet my mantises today, but my mail ran off. Or I should say he flew away and that was not possible. So I was stuck making you guys a tutorial on fruit flies. Uh, please like this video. If you like it, please subscribe to see more mantis related content. And I will see you guys next time.